If there are profit as luxury SUVs have gone from relative obscurity to regulars in the valet line, competition has grown fierce, and the measure of overall goodness has been steadily on the rise. And that is how it should be, pretty good just doesn't cut it anymore. Unfortunately for Cadillac, the new XT5 rates as merely pretty good in the face of worthy competition, including the excellent 2017 Jaguar F-Pace and more established class leaders such as the BMW X3 and the Porsche Macan. While the XT5 is a big improvement over the SRX it replaces, owners of that SRX may be the only ones who are jealous. A 310 horsepower version of General Motors' corporate 3.6-liter V6 that first appeared in the 2016 CTS and ATS sedans serves in the XT5, it's a 24-valve, direct-injected power plant that gets the job done but falls short on both power and refinement when compared against competitors' power trends. When pushed, the engine has a decidedly unluxurious coarseness, and it doesn't always play nice with the 8-speed automatic transmission. Part throttle downshifts are slow in coming, especially when merging onto a busy highway or at other times when a quick response would be ideal. But shifts can be abrupt in normal driving situations. For example, when coasting down from higher speeds while approaching, say, a red light that changes to green. Stepping back onto the gas pedal elicits a momentary pause and then a jerk. There's a lot going on that may contribute to this behavior, with Cadillac's V6 employing both a cylinder shutdown mode to save fuel under light loads and stop, start technology, which, annoyingly, cannot be disabled. Whatever the causes, it ends up feeling less smooth and refined than the segment leaders. Cadillac's workaround is to select tap shift mode by clicking the lever past the D position, using the two paddles hidden behind the steering wheel spokes to choose your own gears, but it's one we doubt few owners will employ. Lots of leather lined room. Inside, the news is better, for the most part. The interior in our top of the line platinum trim test car was wrapped in padded and stitched leather real wood, and brushed metal surfaces that make the X-T5 look and feel every bit the part of a luxury SUV. Most pieces fit together well, and some details, such as the single metal insert circling the steering wheel hub, are nicely styled and well thought out. The heated and ventilated front seats are well padded and comfortable, with a variety of power adjustments including lumber for the driver and front passenger and seat cushion extenders for added thigh support. The cabin is spacious all around, with generous head and legroom up front and a spacious back seat with a flat floor. Taller passengers will find headroom is limited in the back due to the panoramic sunroof. Fortunately, the rear seats recline and also slide fore and aft. Handy, if somewhat flimsy, levers on either side of the cargo area can be used to flop the rear seat backs forward nearly flat, even if they're heavy to pull back upright. Even with the backrest up, the Cadillac has a bigger cargo hold than most competitors in the luxury set. A closer look at the interior reveals some inconsistencies in both material quality and assembly. Everything you normally see and touch looks and feels good, but there's evidence of cost cutting or parts sharing with cheaper models. The lower surfaces of the console and doors are decidedly less upscale, largely made of hard surfaced flimsy feeling plastics. The center stack bin is lined in cheap looking material. The stitching on both front seats was uneven on our test car, and we found bits of rough flashing inside the front passenger side door pool. We did like what has to be one of the coolest phone slots in the business. Tucked under the console compartment lid, it keeps your device handy but largely out of sight, with just the top edge sticking out. That not only makes it less obvious to thieves should you leave your phone behind, it may help keep weak-willed phone junkies from playing words with friends on the road. Plus, the compartment doubles as a wireless charging station for those with compatible phones. For everybody else, 
dual USB ports keep devices charged without cords draped everywhere, while standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay add to the convenience. A real buzzkill in the Cadillac is its electronic shifter. It requires a combination of button pushing and manipulation to engage reverse, which is a longish throw forward and to the left. It's awkward to use at best, and everyone who drove the X-T5 complained that they couldn't get used to it no matter how much time they spent in the vehicle. The instruments are bright and legible, although a variety of fonts and gauge styles smacks of rating the GM parts bin rather than presenting a unified, more upscale look. The X-T5's Q infotainment system uses a vibrant 8.0-inch high-resolution touchscreen, and the system is less confusing and wonky than some earlier incarnations. Still, some basic functions like regulating airflow require more steps than they should, and the sliding bar for radio volume does not always respond. We usually avoided that annoyance by using the redundant controls on the steering wheel but a simple knob would also do the trick just fine while being accessible to the front passenger. Phones, Babylon's came.